This is my old engine. It was made in the 1940s and still runs nicely. But how much fuel does it use? Is it hopelessly inefficient, as people often tell me? Or perhaps not? Only one way to find out. I filled the tank to the brim with diesel. Compared with a modern diesel engine, the fuel is injected at a relatively low pressure, which means the droplets are relatively large, which means not all of the fuel is burned. So for sure, this engine isn't as efficient as a modern one, but let's see what she can do. The plan is to run it for an hour and then see how much I need to top up the tank to replace what's been used. That should work, shouldn't it? It has plenty of compression, but it's not that easy to start in cold weather, or any weather actually. <laughs> so I use an electric motor. Right then, start the clock. I don't really understand why so few of these lovely old machines are actually used. They're taken to shows, but mostly do nothing. Perhaps they could though. I'm using mine to drive the big wheel that I made. And that drives the slicing machine. Which today is grinding charcoal. It's not working the engine very hard, but if you tried to do this even for a few seconds, you'd realize the energy required is enormous. The engine was made by Bamford's of Utoxeter, which is in England. It is the SD3 model, which is rated at 6 horsepower, whatever that means. It's set in the factory to run at 600 RPM, and you can't really change that. If you put it under extra load, the governors kick in to increase the fuel input and try to keep the revs up. After that, it would stall, but that hasn't happened yet. I haven't done anything with it since I bought it except change the oil and check the injector. No doubt many parts are worn and perhaps it could do with new piston rings, but it's working fine. So I'm leaving it alone for now. Right then, after working for an hour, I'm a bit tired, but no doubt this engine could go on for a few more. I cut the fuel and she reluctantly stops. Well done, old thing. Not bad for an 80-year-old lady. The fuel level has gone down, of course, but by how much? It takes 450 milliliters to replace what's been used, which is less than half a liter, 
or around a tenth of an American gallon. That much fuel cost me 45 cent. It's agricultural diesel, so it's a little cheaper than car diesel. So I ground up this much charcoal for 45 cent. I could have ground up a lot more, but that's all I had at the time. And that sounds pretty good to me, but what do you think? We can't buy green diesel around here as far as I know, but in theory I could make my own out of vegetable oil, but I haven't time for that right now. Incidentally, if I had the right electricity power supply, which I don't, then to run an electric motor of similar power would take approximately four and a half kilowatt hours of electricity, which today in Ireland would cost around two euro. Still very good value, but four times the cost of the diesel. Just saying. It's all so interesting, isn't it? <laughs>